you've probably been making this mistake on log graphs for A-level biology. And this type of question has come up about every other year in the last five years. So let's go through exactly how to read off a log graph for A-level biology. So if it comes up this year, you get those marks. In a log graph, the y-axis does not increase linearly like it does on a typical graph. Instead, it's going up by multiplications to the power of 10. So we can see here, 10 to the power of five, six, seven, eight. You can also see that the distance between each of those lines on the y-axis is not equally distributed. And that is to represent these different increases. Each line is representing one times 10 to that power or two times 10 to that power if it's the second line up. This example where we're looking at 10 to the power of nine, it wouldn't mean 10 to the power of 9.1, 10 to the power of 9.2. Instead, it's one times 10 to the power of nine, two times 10 to the power of nine would be the next line up. Make sure you save this video so you can use it to revise from just before your exams.